Shall we get my final guest out of the green room? Yes. Well, I was talking to the sofa before the show, and it's been looking forward to this moment. He can retire happy. Will you please welcome Girls Aloud, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Good to see you. Right. Cheryl, come and have a sit down on the, the sofa. Hey, look at that. We've got all the girls allowed here. Uh, <laughs> nice to have you back on. Thank you for coming for back on the show. Thanks for having us. Was that okay with you sitting in the room there with Gordon? Because I know there had been this misunderstanding. Mm, it was and fine. It was I don't special. really think that was the full apology you perhaps deserved. No, I don't think it was either. They've <laughs> been really giving him a hard time tonight. He deserved it. Well, well Cheryl's. <laughs> you are close with him. Cheryl, do you want to have a word with him? I've you? had a word. Don't worry. He was like a, a puppy dog. He was crawling all the way. <laughs> Um, okay, now I very much enjoyed the last time you were on the show, uh, and I'm glad you're here and you're still together because I keep hearing rumours or seeing stuff that, yeah. that you are on the verge of splitting up. It's not new though, is it? That's like been since the beginning. So, yeah. but is there truth in it? Because you know, the longer that a band's together, mm. when you hear those things, the more the more believe believable yeah. it is. Yeah, we've had that loads, especially when we released the greatest hits album. But we've got our new album out now, and we've got a tour planned. So we're definitely not splitting up. Yeah, no, so we you, can't. Because uh, you've been together. How long have you been together for now? Five, Five years. years. Yeah, and it started on that TV show, didn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Do you watch those shows now? Do you watch yeah. X Factor? Yeah. Those what do you think of the new crop on X Factor? Um, I think they're getting a bit of a rough ride, to be honest with you. You know, it's not it's not an easy thing to do for anybody. And I particularly like that boy that gets slated every week. I just feel so sorry what, for him. What, the one with the funny hair? Leon. No, not the one with no, the funny no, hair. Another one you mean. Does, another there, one. does anyone yeah. like the one with the funny hair? Sarah that does. She keeps saying, who's that one with the blonde hair? Who's that one with the blonde hair? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you actually, know what? what? If, if you stand one. in front of a hairdryer, you'd look a bit like that oh, one. So. Really like that one. <laughs> in the 80s. <laughs> hey, you got a lot of stick for your haircut, didn't you? When you oh, had that done. Hey, you. Why Sarah. do you hate me? I didn't cut it. What's wrong with you? Presumably you asked for it. Is there anything you don't want to talk about? The instant I said that, you knew. No, <laughs> I'm not talking about it. You're talking about it. No, you talked about his hair, then you brought mine up. Well, I was talking about his hair. <laughs> no, that's not the haircut. What are you doing now? <laughs> you bastard. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I, I, I like it though. You know what? It looks nicer. It's better it, now. It, I just had a lack of extra hair at the time. Yeah, so. yeah. It looks nice, but he was just maybe a bit severe. Up it front. was a little yeah, bit at the okay. time, yeah. Yeah, so. I had a bad haircut once. It was so bad. It just shows me the very bad luck. I'm beginning. I don't want you to split up, but maybe you could do without one member. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had one once, and it was so pathetic. I went home, and I wouldn't let my wife see it, and I locked myself in the bedroom. Oh. Oh. And you and your it? wife seem really, just not very really good. in love. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, you and your wife seem really in love. You were showing us all your pictures from your Halloween party. I'm sorry, you're speaking. I can't really understand you. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're all speaking English. Is that? <laughs> I'm sorry, Nadine. I... Maybe it's because I'm so far away. I'm like way over here. Maybe I should leave. Yeah. Oh. That's pathetic. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you've been watching Heather Mills McCartney's performance. And you're kind of uh, no, but you know, yeah, yeah, I'm very lucky. Uh, and you guys, mo you're, are you all in relationships now, or not all of you? I know you're, yeah, you're married, yeah. of course, to yes. Ashley. And uh, Sarah, are you with someone at the moment? I am, yes. Okay, who are you with? Right? I'm with um, a guy called Tommy, and okay. he's a DJ. And he's a nice guy? He's lovely. Yeah, he's lovely. Because okay. you've had a few wrong-uns, haven't you? But you okay. We've had a, car, a few wrong-uns, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's really nice, Okay, that's yeah. good. But he's, he's he really nice, he's really funny, and if the girls approve of him, then that's Okay, so that guy. that would be daunting for a young man, I would have thought, to say he's going out with you, because he has to meet the girls all the time. In. It was like a completely yeah. different person Listen to really what we know now. Yeah. He's so quiet and so stuff, cheeky. and he's not like that. I, at I remember all. thinking, not too sure about that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and and are you, do you yeah. do you wait for the response of the others before you you know go ahead, or do you think? I mean, if someone if the girls didn't like someone, that would be really Sad. difficult. Yeah. It would be hard, yeah. Because you like you bring your boyfriends along to work, and mm. they can hang out yeah. and chat to the girls, and, and with everybody yeah. else, there's like a good relationship, mm. and the boyfriends. I'm it's sorry, I'm not really understanding. <laughs> Nadine, I'm sorry, I'm just joking. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> because you know what? Because you've got that, it's a Northern Ireland accent crossed with the Los Angeles a bit. So it's quite... Sorry, I'm sorry, what was that? Well, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, very good, very good. Uh, okay, so, but you're all pretty happy yeah. together yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Now, when you go on tour, is that difficult? Do you, do you, uh, presumably you miss your partners Tauren and they miss you? Uh, Touring's actually the best thing about being in the band, to be honest with you. That's everything you work up to, the recording of the album, the releasing of the singles, and then you go on tour and, you know, 
give the fans back what they've given you, I suppose. That's mm -hmm. the best part. And you can literally do whatever you want. It's so much fun. You have loads of costumes, loads of costume changes. Yeah. We arrived from the roof last time, and it was it was scary. We had an almost like we nearly died. a near death yeah. experience. Yeah. We nearly died. But whose idea was that? Who says you're going to hang you out the ceiling? So you guys came up with it. We have all these big ideas, like, we're going to come in on zip wires, <laughs> we're going to do this, and... Then we had to really work. But no, we were literally hanging 30 foot in the air on a on a cage, and it didn't have. We literally had like a little seat belt around the waist. That was it didn't have to any cage. front attached to the back of the cage and the sides of the cage. Right. They gave us a mic and um, <laughs> said, if any troubles happen, you know, speak down the mic. It's fine. We'll bring you straight down. So we get up there. It was horrendous. And they go right, ready, girls, let's go. First time. Good joke. <laughs> no, no. So now, we yes. are hanging in the air on now, one can side. I just, can I hazard a guess? Did any of you scream at that yeah. time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, mum roll, like, right. Everything's going to be fine. Hands, hold, hold, hold. <laughs> but we were literally I, hanging 30 I feet in the air. actually holding on to Nicola for dear life. Because I was, I was I on my way down. I was on, on the, the way bar down. And she was slipping off the edge. <laughs> it was and relying on me. Girls, can I ask you a question? I think we have the answer. But did any of you let out a little bit of wee? <laughs> yeah. It was close. It was close. I can't even run for a bus these days without a little bit coming. Out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's you know. go. <laughs> really um, now, listen. Uh, you, now, you, I believe, have uh, entered the Guinness Book of Records again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you've done it previously as being the most successful girls' group in, in the history of girls' groups. I guess yeah. is that right? Yeah. How, how many top ten singles did you have to have in a row to? to... Sixteen. Wow, that's quite something. That really is. Isn't that fantastic, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Sixteen consecutive top ten singles. That really is. An um, and, and do you now? Do you worry out that, that someone else might come up and because presumably someday someone will? Someone, we don't want that to happen, do we? Like no. every single we release, we really yeah. do want it to stay in the top yeah. ten. But so the thing is, it. as well, is we're always going to be in there now for that anyway, so it's fine. And Lovely. we're in there for the. Well, there's what we are the first ever gear bandy debut at number one. So that one at that least, if somebody gets in. like twenty five so, top yeah. tens, we'll still have that. You've one still got least. something. Yeah. Uh, now, what do you think of the Spice Girls getting back together? Because that's been, uh, and, and I'm, I myself am and rather excited about that. And looking it is forward exciting, to it. Yeah. 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 really exciting. Will you be going to see them? Well, yeah. we, all, yeah. we all grew up as Spice Girls fans. I think Nicola Same here. once Same believed as me. That's she right. was Jerry Halliwell. Yeah. Yeah. I was scary. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you, know, you must have been little tiny kids. How old were you when the Spice Girls first appeared? I was appeared? about 14. Yeah. So you were so you were young teens or just yeah. like yeah. but just the stage when you were getting into music. So I guess they were pretty much a, well, an inspiration. Exactly. Thing. So yeah. to watch them, you know, growing up watching them and then to be in the charts with them is just weird. bizarre. Yeah. It's the most it's strange weird. feeling. But ever. now you've overtaken them, of course. You've overtaken their records. Yeah, and then now they're coming back, so yeah. we're going to have to <laughs> keep releasing singles. Uh, if they are, say they come out and say, look, we want to do a we want to do a record with you. Would you yeah, so record yeah, with them? Yeah, so yeah. We got asked this question twice today, actually, yeah. in both times. Oh, well, thanks for pointing out. How stupid that Sorry. <laughs> they said um, they said who would you like to collaborate with and, and we said the Spice Girls it would be amazing. But I imagine that could happen fairly easily, couldn't it? I mean it's not What if it was like maybe a charity record or yeah. something like that? Yeah, yeah, we would love to do that. Mm. Hey, last time you were on you you did a, a ghost hunting thing, mm. okay? Uh, and it's Halloween last night of course, when traditionally mm. you know, were you out did you go out trick or treating? We or? Were. We until we got home at like two in the morning, okay. so we had no time to go trick or treating. And the scary thing was we were actually performing in a church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that mm -hmm. was a bit e that was a bit weird, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. and, and, and but you girls seem very susceptible to this kind of thing. You seem to be very mm -hmm. open, open to the yeah. idea of well, otherworldly presences. Yeah, I wasn't until. The who who saw the pink thing. blob last time? Someone saw a pink. Okay, it wasn't pink. It was well, not exaggeration. It's a puff of smoke. It was a puff of smoke. <laughs> but it was hovering in the on the flat. stairs. And let me just tell oh, you. Oh, let me just tell you the latest. Oh, There's God. more. There's more. Okay. I just moved out of the flat below oh, Cheryl's old one. This was the flat that you shared with a puff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a spooky puff of smoke. Yeah. Okay. And my boyfriend said he turned, he literally looked over, and there was a big white puff of smoke. He said, Nicola, you're never going to believe what I'm about to tell you. And then he told me, and I said, completely believe you. I've seen it on her phone. But was he smoking Without the weed at the time? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. So there was a puff of smoke where in the big air. Big puff of smoke by the window. Yeah. Look, he said a ghost or a something. Ghost? It the is same as what was on the But you, it's definitely a, a ghost. Yeah. So, well, you can't definitely, definitely say it was a ghost, could you? Well, the place was an old mental asylum. Yeah. So. Right, can I just say I'm the only one that still lives there? <laughs> we not talk about it anymore. Why are you living in a former mental asylum? <laughs> because 
It's it looks nice. fine. It's I'm not really that nice. bothered about ghosts. Yeah, so I get fine. the feeling that you're not as easy. But if you saw, if say you went home this evening and there was the puff of smoke <laughs> waiting for you, right? what, what would you do about that? Probably would happen. Probably would be calling Cheryl. <laughs> okay, but um, you, but you haven't had any, you haven't had any other spooky experiences since then. Not since the Halloween thing, no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I loved seeing you ghost hunting. It was a great thing. I would like you to I maybe take that up semi-professionally. <laughs> it's, it's fun, it's but it's... Fun, yeah. Do you know what the funny thing I was, I was like, paranoid for weeks after I got home. <gasps> I was like, any bump oh, or any noise. I, I, was like, I still am. And I couldn't bear to watch the programme. Why not? It freaked us out it that much. Oh, it was horrible. Should, would you like to do a science again, though? No. 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 I didn't do uh, it. Not in the dark. I well, you can't really have one with the lights on. No, that you can't. If there's a candle, it's fine. I just don't like the pitch black. Completely I don't dark. know what's coming at me. <laughs> Not for the first time, I imagine. Do you like to do it? Yeah, I would like to do it, but I don't believe in any of it, to be honest with you. Really? But if you did it, then you... It may change you. Opinion. No, because there's nothing there, I don't think. I'd love to see I, you. I would oh, you, don't, you can't possibly believe that when you're dead, that's it. You die, and then your body just disintegrates, and that's you, gone forever. Sadly, even me, and I know it's going to upset a lot of people, but even <laughs> me, I think that's it. Honestly? No. Seriously, I think that's all you get. No. Don't be telling her that, Jonathan. That's, that's, the truth. that's what I was saying to her earlier. That's you want to enjoy every experience and every moment, and don't mm -hmm. say no to anything. <laughs> And now you have a new album out, and this interesting thing is that this, I believe there are no cover versions on this new album. No. And that's the first time, isn't it? Because mm. normally you, you embrace uh, the material which people know. We've done, I think, four covers, mm. and three of those were for um, charity. So we did Stand By You for Children in Need. We did Walk This Way most recently for... Uh, comic Relief. Yeah, yeah. Comic yeah. Relief. Jump and we did Jump for the, the Movie band. Love, actually. So the only one we wanted to do as a band, because we loved the song when we were growing up, was Tiffany, I think we're alone now. The one you've been singing all day. I know. Yeah, yeah, but, nice. but I told you girls, it's not by Tiffany. That was a, She did a cover version. It was I'm by another band before that. I that. I genuinely yeah. thought it was her track. Mm, yeah, well, of course you did, because you're young people, but it was by a band <laughs> called The Rubenews originally. I'm going to look that up, actually. You don't have to look it up. I'm not lying. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if you weren't in a band together, or if you hadn't already got an audience who like a certain sort of thing, would you want to do other kind of music? Is there a kind of particular leaning that one or other of you have that you would like to take the band no, in that I direction? I think like all our musical else. interests yeah. are all different, but yeah. when it comes to Girls Aloud, we've all got the same kind yeah. of goal, and I'm we always like the same the stuff, yeah. don't we? It's really good, it just works out like that. So you wouldn't yeah. want to be an indie type band, you wouldn't no. want to dabble in heavy metal? No. No. It's no. not it's it's definitely... Yeah, no. I, I appreciate every single mm. type of music, and I do have a love for every type of music, and we get to do like indie covers on the likes of live lounge for Joe Wiley and stuff like that and it's nice yeah. to do little bits and pieces or we do covers on tour and things like that but we have a very specific sound I think as a, mm -hmm. as a band and we have a very the most amazing fan base ever so we kind of stick at what we do best and what they love and which is pop and we mm -hmm. love we love yeah. Well, you know, when you first uh, came out, I thought, oh, this is a reality band. And then after all, my kids started playing you and we started listening to the album. And I, I really enjoy listening to your albums. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, that's, that, that was a strange really reaction, is. I'll be honest with you. It's uh, <laughs> it like you were, you were praising an elderly uncle for listening, <laughs> listening to rap for the first. I went, oh, he likes them and them, and he's 90. Um, but I'm, I'm thrilled you're still together, and I'm thrilled you're still having success. We're going to have a little look at this is your current video. Yes. That must be, I would imagine, one of the most fun things you can do is making videos this together. This video was the worst for me. It was the worst. No, well, this so, was the worst for me. If you have a look out, actually, it's when you watch the video, it was so cold. My lip is stiff, and I'm going, it really doesn't freeze. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to be blue on the video. Like, it was that sounds cold. Sounds terrible. You want to try working for a living? <laughs> 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 Here we go, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah.
Hey, maybe for the next video, will you do me a little favour? What? Put a little puff of smoke in one of <laughs> <laughs> Give him this a walk on, we can exercise that goat. <laughs> How nice to see you again. Thank you so much Thanks for coming on the show. And ladies and gentlemen, girls allowed. Thank you, thank you ladies. Thank you. Lovely to see you again. Thank you. How nice. How nice to see you. Talk amongst yourselves. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Girls of the Loud, ladies and gentlemen. My thanks to all my guests tonight, the lovely girls of the Loud, of course.